Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video on Cycle Fanatics. Pretty cool video for you guys today. If you guys didn't know, I actually got the paint, the Fastback Blue paint from Harley Davidson, straight from Harley Davidson, just so it matches perfectly to our Street Bob. And today I'm gonna be dropping off the Memphis Shades Road Warrior fairing because we're gonna paint that blue. I think it's going to look a lot better than the black. The black right now, it just, it just stands out too much and takes away, I think, from the blue on the bike. So we're actually gonna take a ride over to my auto body shop now. We're gonna hop in the Audi and I have, I have the paint and the activator in there and I have the fairing and we're just gonna be painting the front and leaving this ring black. I think that's gonna look nice. Just painting it blue and I'm gonna paint the fasteners actually the heads that go towards the front we're going to be painting them blue as well so stay tuned and then i'll show you guys when i pick it up how nice it's going to look then we're going to be taking it over by jd cycle works back over there and putting it on the bike and i'll let you guys see i think how amazing this bike is going to look because we're also <clears throat> not only painting the fairing but we're going to be we're going to be putting in that 22 xe woods cam and we're also going to be changing out the bar setup we're going to be putting on the nine and a half inch pullback thrashing supply risers with a mid-bend four inch riser thrashing bar so stay tuned it's going to look absolutely amazing All right, guys, I'm here at tri Borough Auto Body here in Fairlawn, New Jersey. They're gonna be painting. Brian's gonna paint the fairing. I just dropped it off. Dropped, left them the paint, the activator, left them the fairing. He's gonna paint everything. I should have it back by Monday or Tuesday, he said. That's awesome. So I'll fast forward until Monday or Tuesday. What's up, guys? All right, so it's a couple days later, actually, and I just got a call from tri Borough Auto Body that my fairing for the 2022 street bob those birds are chirping away today because it's beautiful out but this the fairing for the street bob is ready they painted it fastback blue i can't wait to look at it so we're gonna go pick that up we're gonna take the audi my buddy's actually gonna be taking a look at it just a quick glance uh make sure everything's all right because this weekend saturday we're gonna be at new jersey motorsport park in millville new jersey doing the quarter mile roll race thousand horsepower or less class i'm gonna have that video up on auto fanatics channel if any of you guys are interested uh click that banner right above subscribe over there if you guys like car stuff it's going to be an amazing amazing event a lot of huge youtubers with a lot of big horsepower cars but anyway we're going to pick up the fairing and then i got something special for you guys in this video as well because we're going to be going straight over to dave over at jd cycle works because he actually told me he did put in the woods 22 xe cam and numbers didn't come out that favorable for me um, or for him. We want to kind of, we were looking to get some more higher horsepower and torque numbers. So also what we're going to be doing is he's going to be doing, he actually already installed the SNS 475 cam because this way we are going to be able to give you guys an exact, a perfect comparison on the same bike. So the Street Bob first got a Woods, I believe it was the 777, then it got the Woods 22XE, and now we're gonna throw in the SNS 475 cam. It's gonna be on the same bike, same exhaust, same engine, same everything, same dyno. So this way, the numbers, you guys could compare, and this way you guys can make a choice as far as what cam you guys are looking for. You don't necessarily need maybe the highest horsepower, highest uh, torque cam. Maybe you guys are looking for something more 
uh, a little bit mild. So that's the only reason we're doing this comparison to kind of get a true number. But what I'm looking for is I'm looking for basically the most horsepower, the most torque that I could possibly get out of the 114 on the street, Bob. You guys know that on this channel, we love power, we love torque. So that's what I'm going for. So he already installed that. I'm gonna head on over to Dave over at JD Cycle Works and basically we're gonna be doing the last dyno run and I'm gonna show you guys the comparison between the three different cams and then we're gonna be putting the fairing on and also he's already installed the thrashing supply risers and bars so you're gonna be able to see the entire bike. It's gonna look amazing. I just left my buddy Nick's uh, shop and come to find out I did I was hearing a little bit of a noise uh, it was coming like kind of from the front of the car it was just like a, a banging and uh, come to find out I guess when they put in the new springs to lower the car they didn't tighten down the strut the big nuts on top of the struts so Nick tightened that down with an impact gun and there you go, sound is gone, quiet as hell now. So check the oil, check all the fluid, so we're ready to go for this weekend race mode of race at NJMP. Oh damn, that's gonna, that's gonna look good. Check it out. Look at that. Kept this obviously black, kept the ring black. Inside kept it black, he hit the edges. That's gonna look awesome. Can't wait. Let's head on over to Dave, get all this put on, and show you guys the bike. The bar setup is ridiculous. Check this out, guys. Look at this thing. Wow, huh? He even painted the fasteners blue left the bezel black I got the windshield back on it let's go inside and put this bad boy on that's <laughs> right <laughs> what's up buddy we got a lot to go over today huh yeah okay What's up, Vinny? How you doing? What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? And hang on. All right, listen. So what have you done? What have you been up to? Well, we've been doing a little testing here. All right. So when we left off, you had the 777. Yes, we did. Took that out. What did you do then? We went to the Woods uh, 22XE. Okay. And, um, and what did you do after that? We got... Good old faithful 475 back in there. So you took out the 22XC, got yep. the 475 back in. Yep. So you, you're going to show us, obviously, right. the entire comparison, right? right? So this way, um, like you told me over the phone, same bike, mm -hmm. same guy tuning it, yep. same dyno, yep. same exhaust, same intake, same engine, same everything. Yep. Same time of year, same Sa tank of gas. Same tank of gas, okay. So it's, it's the only way we can really learn. That's right. Show everybody what stuff really does. It helps educate people in the That's world right. that cams, how they work. That's right. And it helps educate me as well. And and we just want to make this perfectly clear that we're not knocking on any cam. No. We're just showing a comparison right. against the same bike, same results. So this way you guys could... A say, Dave, I don't want 130 foot pounds of torque. Yeah. I want 116 or something. Yeah. This way, you you'll pretty much you'll know where to direct them. Right. That's it. Yep, exactly. It's, yeah. It's, in, uh, it's not which one's better. It's or worse. It's just what kind of power results you want. Right. That's Basically right. How they all turned out. 
I mean, for me, I told them they know I want power, yeah. I want torque, and that's right. it. So you that's know, what you, most people want. That's right. But everyone has a different flavor and different direction. Or that's right, in. absolutely. You know, and, and Bob Wood's been making awesome cams for a long, long time. Absolutely. As well as S and S and a bunch of other manufacturers, but these are the ones we're focusing on right now. And that's there might right. be some more in the future. We don't know. Right, right. We'll see where it goes. Cool. So let's let's fire her up. Yeah. Fire in the hole. <laughs> Guys, what do you think of this fairing? Holy cow, it looks sweet. He matched the blue pretty good. Looking good. Purrs like a kitty. All right, so let's let's see what can maybe we could let's 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 go back to the triple seven. Okay. Show them that, then show them the twenty two XE overlap one after another. What do you think? Sure thing. Awesome. So this way, everybody everybody knows what we're doing here. We always find, of course, we show people the best of the best. That there is a best that we seen from the triple seven. Okay, so that's triple seven, right, Dave? So yep. that's 112 horsepower. 113 point. 113 on the torque. That's correct. Okay, and then that was the Woods triple seven, and then you yep. installed the Woods 22XC. 22XC we went to. And I have to find the best one for there is that. Usually it's the last one. And that one made a big change. 126 torque and 112.9 horsepower. So same horse. More yep. torque, about 13 yep. foot-pounds more in torque. nice and low and worked very mm -hmm. good like that. So I couldn't leave nothing alone and I got to see <laughs> how it works against our s, &S. Right, right, and right. I think it's only fair to me because it's how we all learn. And and just so you guys know, I would have been happy with those numbers, yeah. but you want to you wanna do the comparison. Yes. I need Obviously to for yeah. the shop, oh, for yeah. customers. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's really the main reason this was kind of the test dummy. Right, and this yeah. is how I've learned over the past 15 years is constantly changing and testing and testing on my own dime on parts to see what works best for the And you, That's exactly, and you did it on the same bike. Yes. And didn't change anything except the cam. It's the only way to learn. That's right. So now okay. this is what happened. The 475 actually came in with some more torque and the horsepower a bit wow. more. Wow, wow. You know, we can see, holy cow. You can see how she came on hard. Now this here dip here, I believe is the exhaust system starting to choke up a little bit. Uh-huh. Because you'll see the graph, I always say this, like a broken record, the exhaust system dictates your torque line. Right. You know, but you can see it's a little slightly here. The more power we start making, the more it starts to pull that, that back up in the exhaust. Right. But it did show an increase. So all together, wow. 22XE is an awesome cam. Right. 475 is an awesome cam. But I wanted to see is right here. Right. I wanted to see the difference here between these two cams and how they worked. And it shows a gain there. Again, this is exhaust right. related. Otherwise, different system that I think it would have flowed a little more. But right. now this is it's just an incredible learning tool to see. That's great. Wow. 
Now there's a lot more cams out there that people float around and they say they're this and that. And in the future, I'd like to see more because right. it's the only way we can actually find out, hey, what's the real answer? Right, absolutely. You know, and, it's, and this is all being done by me. I make all the runs the same way. Right. The bike is running the same configuration with all of them. And it's not like you took a different street, Bob. You used mine, used the same one, yeah. didn't change anything. So no. that's why the comparison is ideal. Yeah, it's the same machine. Right, right. So it teaches. That's in, that's impressive. Yeah, that was, yeah. all of the numbers are great. But the, the S&S, wow, 119 horsepower, mm. 131 foot-pounds of torque. Yeah. More than a 131 stage four from yeah. Harley. And that's these, crazy. And these cams, they're consistent with this. They, they really are. They yeah, are. They're yeah. consistent with that. It's just, um, and the 22XE is a nice cam, and I did a couple other bikes. You want me to print this? or? Sure, print this, please. Yep, absolutely. And I will show you an overlay with three bikes with the 22XE, which I think is very interesting. And with different exhaust systems. Mm -hmm. And altogether, 22XE while tuning. I didn't have any trouble with uh, with um, timing, with having to pull lots of timing out for detonation, which mm -hmm. is great. It's a very easy cam to work with. It's safe. And the 475, it doesn't have many bad characteristics, mm -hmm. side effects like that either. So let me, let me ask you two questions. Um, why did the three different cams hit rev limiter, rev limiter at different points? That's me stopping you. Oh, gotcha. Okay. That's just I me. That's operator there. Understand. I fell through it. I'll stop. Sometimes I'll run it further than others, but usually I understand. if it feels like it's running out, I'll just stop a different RPM. So let me ask you one other question that I, I got a lot now from the past several videos. Is there a reason why you don't sit on the bike when tuning? Yes. Here's if you could, if you could explain to everybody, because they, there was a lot, a couple comments yeah. I'd never seen. You know, someone not sit on the bike, yeah. whatever. So maybe you could explain the, your reasoning behind it. The big thing is, is people say, oh, it makes it have more power. I've even made a video. I think I showed Sandy or Glenn. Mm -hmm. It's a difference of maybe one horse and torque. Right. I'm sitting on the bike. The reasons why is because I'm working here. That's yeah, that's what I think. And I'm, I'm holding on this. I'm doing all my things here. And if I'm jumping on off the bike all day right. long, right. I run more to risk of hitting my boot on a fender. Right, right, right. You gotcha, know, it's gotcha. Just, it's just a lot more energy than necessary. Yeah, right. It's got nothing to do with anything that, but that's right. how I work. You know, right, I'm right. Here and, yeah, because your station's set up over there. Because here, right, right. sitting on the bike. Makes I, sense. I can't reach my controls. You can't reach anything, right, right. You know, so Absolutely. therefore, and you can't bring them here because you're hitting them Gotcha, gotcha. So that's honestly the reason why I stand next to them. Right, so you're, yeah, so you're talking about one horsepower, one torque. It's that's nothing. it. And you, and you tried it already oh yeah yeah right. and i'll do it again for you one day and we have more time cool cool i'll make a run with i'll stand up and we'll hopefully go. uh hopefully that answers a lot of your guys questions yeah. i believe there was one comment in a previous video that i seen why doesn't dave sit on the bike well there's your answer uh obviously you could see here that he, he can he would never be able to reach the controls obviously while he's tuning in he has to start doing the inputs on his laptop and on the dyno computer there to put the input so he would never be able to reach so and i will show you guys um if a lot of you guys are skeptical about how much horsepower difference it is from sitting on the bike dave will show you in a future video i'll put it up yep we'll, def we'll definitely do it this way you're standing there we'll we'll make a few runs and we'll, we'll show you this overlay here. man and look i gotta show you guys these bars oh my god <laughs> that's that's later when he takes the bike off Mm -hmm. A lot of people were asking too, will these, will the fairing fit on with the nine and a half inch thrashing pullback risers and handlebars? Absolutely it does. There's plenty of room. As you guys can see, no, there's no interference. There's actually, these are pulled back. Um, so there's actually more room than the stock bars, believe it or not. All right, so here we go. Okay. These are three different bikes with the 22XE. Uh, two are touring bikes, and one is this bike, of course. Same cam, 22XC. Yep, different exhaust system, which is so interesting. Look, they all wow. meet in the middle, and they're all pretty identical. Right. Okay, this one here is a touring bike with a Vance and Hines high output put head pipe and a big open baffle. Right. This one here is our Fat Bob, and we're looking at right here, mm -hmm. with the Bassani. Uh -huh. This one here is one with those mufflers that we showed from that uh, friend of mine down. Gotcha, gotcha. There. 
but you can see the difference right of, of torque just from the exhaust and muffler and then after like 3500 almost identical yep wow 37 they're all they all meet and they're done gotcha it's all the same it's amazing you and know, pretty much the horsepower they all meet yeah, kind of yeah yeah wow. pretty much the same this one here the Bassani here gave us a little more top end power the other ones were just dying off so that's what Dave was talking about that right there depending on what exhaust you have will dictate the torque curve that's right and these are all 22 XC same thing 22 XC mm -hmm. only about one foot pound difference yep. and same thing about not even one horsepower so very yeah. close very yeah. similar so that's real interesting stuff so it's not like there was a gigantic difference to where you're going to say oh there's something different about this right. no right it's all pretty very very equal the, right. it's almost like you drew them over each other here. right right which is amazing and these were done at obviously and three different bikes you said three different so bikes, not yep. even the same bike nope. and you got pretty identical results right two touring bikes and one street bomb that's there. awesome now they now everybody you know could see what what a couple more cams you know can do and yeah we'll see what happens what crosses our path <laughs> you know if something shows up at our door and some people want and we'll talk about maybe doing a test absolutely this thing's starting to look really good i woke up like four this morning like uh -huh. there's no way in hell i'm not changing this <laughs> <laughs> so what time were you here this morning to change it again yeah. five yeah. <laughs> holy cow you're like you're like me you're like, early bird gets the worm man i like early That thing, that thing looks good and sounds even better. Hey guys check this out ellie choppers bars my same bars see what what is it 16s 14s 14s yeah on a road king it looks sweet though yeah yeah we just did this install yesterday oh cool look at that i gotta take it out for a test drive here oh yeah yeah absolutely it looks good looks really good it's, a real attitude. it's it's different that's the thing it's different i really like it All right, guys. So anyway, what do you think of the street bob? Let me go ahead. Let me show you guys. Uh, I'll give you guys a walk around, but let me show you guys the bars first. Look at that. Look how nice that looks. Dave did the uh, the wrap around all the wires. You got the gauges up here. Thrash and supply makes the cutout. So uh, it relocates the gauge cluster used to be all the way down here. Now it's up high. You see everything now? Beautiful setup. Oh, wow. Let me sit on this bad boy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, this is really, really comfortable and really nice. Super, super comfy. Love it. Oh, I can't wait to, I can't wait to take the bike home. Can't take it home today because I had to bring obviously the fairing what do you guys think of the fairing i think it looks absolutely amazing i brought the car obviously because i had to bring the fairing so next week uh yeah next week we'll come pick it up and i'll show you guys the bike how it rips this thing's got a rip 100 what do you say 119 horsepower 132 foot pounds of torque this thing's gonna move I always like the trolls commenting like, wow, what do you think that thing's fast? With $5,000, I could just buy a, a GSXR 750. Well, yeah, no shit. We're not comparing, obviously, 
the Japanese bikes or the or a sport bike to this. We're comparing Harleys to Harleys and what this can do now with the upgraded cam. That's all. We're not comparing it obviously to a sport bike. Come on. But anyway, this thing's going to absolutely move from what it was from stock to now unbelievable so we were at what like only 80 something horsepower now we're at 119 we're only at like 80 90 foot pounds of torque now we're at 132 foot pounds of torque that's crazy I think the bike looks absolutely amazing. Huge shout out to Ciro 3D for the lighting components. Huge shout out to Memphis Shades for the fairing. Huge shout out to Saddleman for the amazing seat. Thank you so much, guys. This, oh wow, this is really, really came out really nice. We have a lot, a lot more in store for this bike from Harley Davidson. Harley Davidson is sponsoring this build as well. And they're sending me out so many awesome products. I can't wait to get them and to install them and to show you guys. So just stick around. This bike is gonna look absolutely amazing. It already does. That fairing just killed it with the blue. It looks absolutely awesome. We got the stage two going with the 475 and the Bassani exhaust now. Wow, I'm gonna end this video like this, check this out. I just arrived home from Dave's house, right? Oh man, am I excited. And look what's at my doorstep. I guarantee you it's all from Harley Davidson. It is, oh my God, whole bunch of goodies from Harley Davidson. You're gonna wanna stay tuned. It's all for the street, Bob.